Hi, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Excuse my voice, I lost it at the end of our trip when uh, Linda and I went to Beverly Hills and I still have not gotten it back yet. And I do apologize for all of those of you who have been asking both of us. Um, there is no vlog. I did not film a single thing and neither did she. Um, we just wanted to relax. I honestly don't like vlogging. I'm not sure that I will um, ever do one again. It just kind of takes away from the trip and I'm more worried about if I'm in focus and all that kind of good stuff. But on with what today's video is and it is a tag video and I was tagged by the lovely Chic Professor and it is if you had to start your collection all over what are the five items that you would begin with or what are the five items you would start with and um if I'm correct, I believe this could be anything, shoes, jewelry, bags. I chose to just do bags because um, the majority of my channel concentrates on bags. I do jewelry, but um, I couldn't possibly pick the jewelry. <laughs> the bags were hard enough. And I find these just really interesting to see, you know, what you would do if you could go back in time and change things. I am really behind on my tags, so I'm not sure who has been tagged to do this and who has already done this. So I tag anybody and everybody. Um, if you'd like to do this, um, I would love to see your choices and what you would choose. So if I could go back in time to when I made my very first luxury purchase, I would switch that from a, a trendy Louis Vuitton bag to the classic Chanel Jumbo. So many years, this has gone up, let's see, seven years. I've been collecting for seven years. This has gone up a lot in seven years. Um, so I do wish I had started with this. This is by far my most favorite bag in my collection. And I have been doing a really good job of rotating this a lot this year. Um, last year I kind of let it set a little bit, but I'm just not carrying as much stuff. And so therefore it doesn't feel as heavy to me. Um, I just love this bag. I love that if you don't want to compromise what you're carrying, that it holds absolutely everything. And I just think of the amazing amount of money I would have saved if this would have been my very first purchase. My second purchase would be something a little bit more practical and this is probably my number one most used bag. I've had this one for three years now and it is my Speedy B25 in the Damier Aben print. And I don't have the strap on it today, but I do live in a very rainy climate. Um, we actually had tornado warnings yesterday. It's been thunderstorming on and off all day today. I have gotten this caught in the rain and just a torrential downpour where I did not have an umbrella. Nothing happened to it. I have been very lucky. I know a lot of these bags have um, issues with corner wear. I don't have any issues with this. Um, it's crossbody or um, shoulder or handheld. So I love that it has the three options and I really love that it is completely worry-free. So it's really good to have a worry-free bag. So this would definitely be the second one I would purchase. And the reason this would be the second one is because the year I started purchasing, this was not made in the bandolier version. And I am not a handheld girl for the most part. The third one I think is going to surprise you a little bit because it has some color <laughs> and that is my Lady Dior in the opalescent gray. And I do have to be cautious with this bag. It is not one of my most rotated by any means due to the color and being afraid of getting color transfer. But this is such an icon and I love this color. I do have the, um, the My Lady Dior, the small size and the black but I love this color so much more. Um, if I had to choose between the two and could only keep one, it would 100% be the lady. It has feet on the bottom, which is very, very important to me. The zipper is a little bit fussy, I guess, but um, I have gotten used to it. And once you get it opened, it um, holds a ton. I love the charms. I love that Dior does this champagne hardware and that it's not super bright gold like the Louis Vuitton for example. 
I just think it's just so much more subtle. I love the zipper pull on this. And this is another bag that has gone up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So I don't know if they would have had this color. You know, I'm, I'm thinking like maybe, you know, a bag a year or something like that. But so I don't know if this color would have been around. But absolutely adore this. Um, did I say the color? Yes, opalescent gray. I think I already said that. So let me grab the last two bags. Okay, so the last two bags are both black. I know you're very surprised about that. <laughs> but the first one is the Chanel medium flap. And this one is in the caviar with the gold uh, hardware. And um, you see what I mean, the difference in this versus the, um, the lady. Although I think it really works with this bag. I think it makes it very, uh, where you can dress it up and make it very elegant. There's a huge size difference in the two. And you really do have to think about what you're putting in this bag, which is why it would be one of the ones I would purchase later. Um, but I really do love this one. I love that it's never ever gonna go out of style. Um, all the ones that I have chosen for my five that I would purchase again, in my opinion, I feel like will never go out of style. And that's kind of, kind of the way I'm trying to purchase bags for the most part. Um, I might have a few surprises coming up that you would not expect from me, <laughs> but in general, I try to go for classic styles that won't go out um, out of style. Which you know, but if you love something um, and it goes out of style, it does not make any difference. This is just me. I get tired with trends very, very easily. I have noticed that. So my final and my last bag. I think it's going to surprise you a little bit. It is one of my newest bags. I purchased this last year in Paris and it has quickly become one of my absolute favorites that I own. And that is my Fendi Mini Peekaboo and the black lambskin leather with the gold hardware. And they call it light gold, but um, I think it looks pretty gold to me. <laughs> I don't know. It's... it's I think it's pretty gold. They call it light gold though. But I absolutely adore this bag. There are no scratches at all on this lambskin. This is the best wearing lambskin bag other than the lady. Um, it's much better than the Chanel that I have, which I love that bag, but it does, it does show marks very easily. What I love the most about this bag, and I do have it, I do have it stuffed. I didn't completely undo it but it's super simple to get your things in and out. And um, I've heard some people say that they feel like the bar and the closure scratches against their hand, um, but the ones that I've seen had a different leather than lambskin, so maybe that's a part of it, that um, it wasn't as, as you know pliable as lambskin is. But I don't have any trouble with that. I love that it is all leather lined and I have just used this a ton. I've taken it on so many vacations already just since having it September, October. It's already gone on four or five trips. I just absolutely love this bag so much. So those are the ones that I would pick and it's really, really hard to choose when you are a handbag junkie like me. It's like, what would be the five? But um, I think that these kind of cover all kinds of occasions and, um, you know, something for every purpose. And this is one that I can actually do handheld. And I am not a handheld person. I've said this many, many times. But it is so, so lightweight. And I also like that this one is crossbody. So there's two, three crossbodies. Actually, the lady is crossbody too. I just tend to not do that very often because I'm a little worried about the denim. I just, I don't know about that, <laughs> but those are my five. And like I said, if you have not done this, I would love to see what your five are. Um, Cause I really, I've, I've watched as many as I can, but being out of town and all that stuff. And the second I got home, I had family. I just, I'm all over the place. I'm not quite there right now, but thank you so much for taking the time to tune into another video. And I hope you are having a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.